Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out this new live catch mousetrap that I recently purchased on Amazon. It's called the Double Humane Mousetrap. The box has a cartoon of a mouse running full speed towards the trap. We'll have to set up the motion cameras and see if mice actually do that. When you turn it this way, it says setup. Place bait into the bait cup, such as peanut butter or soft cheese. I like to use peanut butter. Place a trap on a common mouse pathway, like near walls, corners, behind furniture, or in the barn, and release the mouse far away from a home when caught. We'll be doing that as well. There are some warnings. It says this trap is not a toy, so I can't let my kids play with it to avoid danger of suffocation, and do not use the trap in cribs, beds, carriages, or playpins. That's kind of weird to say, but they have it there. Now if you turn it on the other side, it says if the trap doesn't work, no worries, free replacement. There's warranty and service, so if you have any problems with the product, please contact them immediately. They give an email. This looks like a really interesting trap, so let's take it out of the box and see how it works. Here's what the double humane mousetrap looks like out of the box. It's made out of plastic, has ventilation holes on top and on the doors, so the mouse should be comfortable. Now there's a door on either side that's on a spring. When you let go, it closes. Now when you push it down, it latches into place. And there's a little trigger mechanism right here. We can set both sides. What I like so much about this is it provides a tunnel that the mouse can run through. But it's kind of hard to set. You have to do it both at the same time. There we go. The idea is the mouse will want to get the bait inside. Go out there. As it gets towards the center, it gets set off. Now it wasn't the most smooth with the finger puppet mouse. Let's go test this out with our pet mice. See if they go in there and get caught. Then we'll set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can get a wild mouse with a double humane mouse trap. If it doesn't work, we'll call that warranty number. For this test, we'll use one of our brown pet mice. See what he thinks of this humane mouse trap. Well, that didn't take long. Our mouse went in there, stepped on the trigger, and both doors closed at the same time. Let's let him go, then go set this trap up in the barn with motion cameras and see if it works on wild mice. Come on out, you're free. Let's go put you back in your cage. Well, last night was a complete failure. I set up this double humane mouse trap in the barn, and instead of catching a mouse, a rat went inside, took my bait, set off the trap, and then he stole the bait cup on top. It was full of peanut butter. He probably took it back to his nest. It's nowhere to be found. This will not work for catching mice right now. I'm gonna fix it with a little tape, and then see if we can catch a mouse without getting sabotaged by a rat. Last night we set up the double humane mouse trap in the barn and we caught a mouse. It went in there, stepped on the trigger, the doors closed, and we got it. And that piece of tape helped keep it in. That rat stole the top of it, but it still works. My kids wanted to help me come check the trap, and now we're going to let it go. Clementine just like playing in the dirt. We'll just open up this door. Bye bye Mr. Mouse. Bye bye Mr. Mouse. 